What's up guys? This is a long overdue video and one of the first requests I got on my channel. And in this video, we are going to very quickly create a simple graphic for social media. Now, before we continue, you're gonna need your company logo, preferably in a PNG format with a transparent background. Here I've got one loaded up that is in PNG format, like I said, and it's got a transparent background, which means it's got no background and in between the cracks, as you can see, you can see through the image. And then I've got a couple of other photos that I downloaded off of Envato to use for this video. So that's what you're gonna need, your company logo, as well as a couple of photos that you wanna use if you wanna follow along. Another thing to keep in mind is that before we begin, what you're gonna wanna do in order to follow along is head up here in Photoshop to Window, Workspace, and go to the Essentials Workspace and make sure that that's selected. Now what this does is it gives you a layout of tools that will match what I have here. In a previous video, we had determined that the best settings to use for images intended for Facebook are 2048 by 2048 pixels exported at 70%. It turns out that Facebook is among those that have the largest user uploaded images, which means an image created for Facebook is good for almost any other social media website. So in order to begin, we are going to go to create new, to create a new canvas, and we are gonna make the width and height both 2048, that's 2048 pixels. And of course, you wanna make sure that pixels is selected here. Now we're gonna ignore the resolution. Uh, make sure the rest matches, however, that it's RGB color mode, 8-bit, so on and so forth. And then we're gonna hit create. Now we've got our blank canvas here. Now jumping back to the photos I downloaded, I'm gonna grab the first one that I wanna use and I'm gonna drop it in. Now, as you can see, it's created a little bounding box around it where I can resize it. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill the box. I'm gonna fill our canvas. And then I'm gonna hit the enter key on my keyboard. And what that does is it places the image. Now, I kinda want the lady to be aligned to the left. So I'm gonna move this over. Now, as you can see, I'm actually, I've uh, went past the limits of the photo here of the canvas. So I'm gonna go and head back and I'm gonna keep it there. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is going back to my images again. I'm gonna take my company logo now and I'm gonna drop it in as well and then hit enter. Now if you don't have a bounding box around after hitting enter, what you can do is you can go up here to auto select and make sure that's checked as well as show transform controls. Now what this allows you to do is click any element on your graphic and it'll automatically show a bounding box around it where you can either move or you can resize the image. Now going back to our company logo, um, we're gonna go ahead and place that and make it smaller. So I like it right there in the top corner. However, if you notice, these colors are clashing a bit with the background of this photo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to the company logo in this layer here. I'm gonna right click it and go to blending options. Now. In blending options, I wanna go over to the color overlay. Now, if you already have branding colors, so these match, say, like this is my company logo and these are my colors of my brand, then I preferably wanna keep them this way. However, in this case, because they clash, I think the best thing to do is either use white or black. Um, however, if I hit color overlay here, and then I click this box here where it's brown, I can basically change the color to anything I want. Now, I can choose a lot of different colors now. Like again, if it doesn't match your branding, sometimes that can mess with um, your brand recognition. So instead, what I'd rather do is just either use white or black, some flat white or black. So I like white in this instance, so I'm gonna keep that and I'm gonna hit okay. Hit okay once again. And there you go. Now I have the logo placed on this beautiful photo. So let's just say I want to have a earrings and lipstick sale for my fake retail business. Uh, what I wanna do is I'm gonna go over here to the text tool, click it, and click and drag to draw a box. Now it's gonna fill it in with a bunch of filler text. I'm just gonna hit the backspace key. And then I wanna take this box and take it all the way to the edges of the photo. And I'll show you why in a second. Now that I have this to the edges of the photo, I can go over here to the paragraph setting and make sure that my text is centered here. And then I can start typing. 
earrings and lipstick. As you can see, the black lettering actually disappears on the hair. So I'm gonna click over here to the move tool so that now I'm you know, not editing the text anymore. Now, sorry, I should probably move that back into place. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna change the text color to white. And there we go, now it's all visible. Now, I don't like this font, for instance, so I wanna go with something that's a little more elegant. Since, um, let's just say it's a fashion brand, I want something a little bit more elegant. I'm just gonna use the Times font, which is a nice, classic, timeless font. And there you go, now I have something a little bit more elegant looking. So I'm gonna double click on the letters again so I can start editing again, and I'm gonna move it down a little bit. Earrings and lipstick sale, okay? Now I wanna make these letters really big. So first of all, I'm gonna make them bold, and, and I'm gonna use this size tool here, which is this, these two T's. And instead of dropping down this menu, because I can only go to 72 and I'm already at 97, I'm gonna use this little icon here and start dragging to the right. And if you notice, it starts getting huge. However, now it's beginning to overlap with the line above it. I'm gonna ignore that for a second. We're just gonna keep going. Making it as big as I want it to be. And there we go, I think that's a good size. I lined it all up nicely. And then I wanna edit the line height. So over here, now I'm gonna start dragging this to the right and increase that line height so that there's space between the first line and second. Now, it looks like I don't have any more room to write anything else, so I'm gonna make the spounding box a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna hit enter. However, now, if I type, I don't see what I'm typing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep making this box bigger so you can see where the text has gone. So obviously, um, this is way too big. Now it's overlapping with the face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this text here and I'm gonna paste it to the bottom line and replace that text. And as you can see, it nicely spaced it again. And then I'm gonna say something ridiculous like 97% off all selected uh, stuff. Okay, and that's gone to the next line, so I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller. And then that's it. Now all I gotta do is just bring it a little bit down and maybe lower it yet again. And there we go. Now I've got a finished graphic. Now, like I said in a previous video, the way I recommend exporting this is by going to File, Export, and then Export As. And then we're gonna set it to JPEG at 70%. And in a previous video, I experimented a little bit with this and I found that 70% is actually the best quality level to export this to while minimizing the file size here and maintaining the quality of the photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and export that to my computer and we'll upload that to uh, Facebook in a moment. So just as a bonus, I'm gonna walk y'all through designing one more graphic. So we're gonna go up here to File, New, and keep all the settings the same. It's still at 2048 by 2048 and then hit Create. And then I'm gonna drop in the other photo. Now I have this photo of this really successful looking guy, kind of, I don't know if he's lit the cigar yet or he's just lighting it, but basically there's a match lit and smoke. So where there's smoke, there's surely fire. And we're gonna position that a little bit to the right, maybe cut him off a little bit. And what's really popular these days are these like motivational things and we can, uh, you know, just kind of make a graphic about that. So. Now we have this uh, photo here, but then I also have this other photo of him, the same guy with the lit cigar. So let's go ahead and drop that in as well. What the hell, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter because I do want that kind of smaller in the middle. However, I don't want all this blank space to the right of it. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna right click that layer and I'm going to rasterize the layer. Now what that does is it makes this layer editable. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna chop off all this stuff on the right. So I'm gonna go over here to the marquee tool, which is this dotted sort of dash box, and then highlight the part I wanna cut off and some extra. Remember, you wanna go outside of that and then just hit the delete key on your keyboard. It chops that off. And there we go. I kind of have this like squarish sort of inset here. And I'm gonna place it in this bottom left-hand corner. 
I don't like the way the edges look here. So what I want to do is I want to frame it a little bit, maybe make a black border or something around it. So what I'm going to do is again, select that layer, right click and go to blending options. And then we're going to head over to the stroke option and we're going to go ahead and give it a stroke. Now, once I select that, I can change the color just like I did with um, the color overlay. However, if I wanted to match like what's already in the photo, what I can also do is grab colors from the photo. And if you see, it will actually match. So if you notice, my mouse is actually turned into a little dropper tool. So with that, you can sample colors from throughout the photo. Now, what I wanna do is match it with a darker color. So what I'm gonna do is maybe grab these, the black off his tie, which is kind of a brownish color and use that. And now I've got that color selected. So let's just say I wanna make the frame a little bit larger or smaller. I would use the size feature here. Now in this case, I have the position of the stroke inside. You can also put it outside, which rounds the corners, which I don't like too much. Or you can center it, which also keeps some round corners. But I'm gonna keep it on the inside because that's where I like it. And I'm gonna thin it out just a tad. You can also make it transparent, which I don't quite wanna do. And then the last thing I'm going to show you is also uh, putting a drop shadow on that box. So I've selected drop shadow, selected drop shadow, and we can make it a little bit darker, make it more transparent, increase the size, which is not very noticeable, increase spread, which is also, it's still a little more subtle, and then increase distance. Now, I like it. It's got a little subtle kind of shadow there. I'll darken it a little bit so you can see it. And then I'm gonna hit OK. Now to add the logo, like we did previously. Drag and drop that in. This time, I'm gonna make the company logo black. So after placing it, hit Enter, right click, Blending Options, and then I'm gonna go to Color Overlay. And this time, I'll make it, actually not even black, I'll go ahead and match it to everything else. There we go. Now again, I said I was gonna make this kind of a motivational thing, so let me just throw the logo into the corner for now. And let's add some text. So let's just say, uh, you know, this guy looks successful, right? So let's just say something about success. And make that a little bit larger, maybe bold. And close that in. And uh, Herschel, what's the definition of success? Well, let's look it up. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the definition of success and make this a super motivational image and then create a new text box in the same area. And then I'm gonna paste in my definition of success, click the move tool and then go and make the text smaller so we can see all of it. And maybe space it out less too. You can see my, my text is really spread out um, that's something I forgot to show you in the previous one. Well, if you don't want the text so spread out, it's right here, this like little VA with the arrows. You can decrease the horizontal space between the letters. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that uh, maybe like a 10. Uh, that's still kind of tight, so maybe 50. There we go. And I'm going to make it regular thickness and maybe just make it a little bit larger. And there we go. Here we go, I made a really cheesy motivational graphic with a successful looking guy letting everybody know what success means. It means smoking cigars and it's the accomplishment of an aim or purpose. You know what, let me just add in the word is, drop of to the next line. Now, let's just say I want all this stuff to be like centered on one another. Uh, what I can do is I can select all the layers that I want centered with one another. So in this case, it is the two text layers, success and company logo, and I'm holding the command key on my Mac and you'd probably hold the control key on your Windows computer, but you click all three and then you go up here to this horizontal align feature and just horizontal align on the centers of these elements. And there you go. Now they're all aligned together. And then all, now all I need to do is just move the logo lower and then perhaps move some of this text up. And there we go. So now I've got this completed graphic. And once again, I'm gonna to go to File, Export, Export As, make sure that's at JPEG. 
reduce this down to 70% and then save it to my computer. And there we go guys, just visit my Facebook page if you wanna see uh, the final product there and um, you can download from there. And as always guys, if you have any specific questions about anything I did here, please drop your questions and comments in the comment section below. And as always, if you like this video, you like my content, please hit the like button. Let your friends know about this video and encourage them to subscribe, subscribe yourself. And if you wanna get notified about future videos and live streams, ring the bell. Thanks guys.